Fab, excellent to see you. Uh, a Derby Day win and a new contract. It's not a bad week for Fabian Share, is it? Yeah, I uh, had a good few days. Obviously, um, the Derby was massive for us as a club, for the fans um, to see um, fans celebrating and obviously confidence for us as well. And then, yeah, letting people know that I stay a little bit longer obviously feels great, so I'm, I'm really pleased. It was your first taste of a, a time weird derby. What what was the experience like? From I saw you smiling walking into the building when the abuse was being launched at you. Uh, what was it like playing in it? Yeah, obviously it was like built up quite quite heavily. I would say before the derby, and um, I always want to play one. And um, yeah, straight from walking out of the of, of the bus, I think it was clear what 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 to expect, and obviously. I like these kind of challenges and then obviously you see how much it meant for, for both sides and um, that was um, obviously clear for us, we have to win, um, nothing else matters and I think we, we, we play really well and, and fully deserve to win and obviously I'm happy to give uh, the fans something to enjoy. Yeah. Fantastic result and performance, but the build-up around it, I'm not sure if you saw, but was surrounded by Sunderland kind of decorating their stadium in, in black and white, in, in Newcastle slogans. Did, did you see that? And if you did, what did you make of that as players? Well, I've, yeah, I've seen it. I didn't, didn't thought too much about it. I probably wouldn't be happy if Newcastle would do the same <laughs> when I'm, I was a player, but... Obviously, don't know what I don't know what, what actually happened, so um, I didn't didn't thought too much about this. Um, I just thought we need to we need to be winning on the pitch. The rest doesn't doesn't matter. So yeah. Just one final one on the derby was the the post match photo, obviously, which is a tremendous photo in front of all obviously all the travelling away fans. What where did the decision come from to do that? Because I think Eddie said it was Jason <laughs> that came up with the idea. Yeah, I think I don't know. I can't really remember who, who it was. I think actually he's pulling me as well. Like we're doing a photo. I, I felt like it's planned or whatever. So yeah. uh, I haven't realized actually who, who's, whose idea or whatever. Um, and um, I, I think it was nothing against anyone else. It was just something for us, you know. Yeah. And, and our fans to to see how much it meant for for us as a team and and, and, and that we are all together and um yeah so that's all i can say that was the derby day win then obviously monday it's announced that you're signing a new contract i'm not going to kind of ask you what you've already been asked about the contract but can you see yourself ending your career here at newcastle united because you constantly talk about how much it feels like home here in the city now yeah i hope they they Give me another one in a few years. No, but obviously I said this uh, a lot. I feel I feel really comfortable, and and you never know what's happening in football. So um, I know we don't think too much uh, what's happening in three or four years. But at the moment, if if I know this would happening, I would be more than happy um, playing more years here, and, and obviously would retire here would be would be amazing. But I'm not thinking about my retirement at the moment, so I still want to play football and uh, everything else will, will come by time. There's, of course, the, the sports management degree as well. Could you ever see a, a situation develop where you, you move up upstairs here at Newcastle or not? Yeah, why not? I mean, um, I think it's a very interesting um, site. Um, obviously, I'm so much in love with football, so I hardly see me something doing with football, um, I don't know in what role, but obviously in a few years um, maybe there, there will be a possibility to do something like that and obviously I would, I would um, love to do that. The fans are obviously a huge part of your, you know, your happiness here in this city. I was watching your interview from the other day and you were telling the story about the, was it the old lady doing your celebration after the PSG game? What on earth happened there? Talk us through it. Well, I mean, obviously the the game was um, was crazy. Anyway, I think one of the best nights for a long time for, for all the Newcastle fans. And um, obviously, I was scoring the goal, and, and and that's kind of my maybe celebration. And obviously, next day I was just in the morning wanting to go for breakfast and walking out of the house, and then yeah, this lady driving past me and obviously re realized that that's me and like doing this kind of celebration and I was like I didn't even realize how much everybody knows you know 
like doesn't matter young old or, or whatever just i think everybody saw the game and, and, and obviously um how much it meant to almost everyone in, in the city and that was just so nice to see for me as well like how, how the people feel about about football in here um again so yeah just just um was in my mind all the time so so when you see that when you're walking out the house and you see someone doing your own celebration back at you what's your kind of reaction to that at the time i was just laughing you know <laughs> just i couldn't believe actually um that she even I, I wouldn't say she looked like a newcastle fan you know what i mean like and uh so it was just uh yeah, I was surprised, obviously, but it was a nice feeling just um, to see the joy in, in, in their faces and, and also after the game. So it was was a big, big day um, for me and, and for the whole club. Well, let's focus on the football. Obviously, you know, it's not been the best run. Five defeats in six. How much have the players been hurt by this recent run of form? How much has that sort of form hurt the players? Yeah, a lot. I mean, the last few weeks haven't been great for us. I think um, the Derby win was, was massive um, or even more more important for us um, to know or to come back to winning ways. Um, and you see the table in the Premier League and you see um, all the teams up front are winning games and obviously we, we have to win games again. So we want to be somewhere up there, you know, and obviously the last few weeks weren't, weren't great in that that perspective so um, yeah try to to go back to what we have like uh, before you know a lot of games you've won and good performances and um, yeah start tomorrow. What do you think it was down to and I know I was speaking to Kieran after one of the games and he said you know the standards have slipped a little bit what do you kind of put that down to as a player? It's difficult to to say, I would say obviously the mo- momentum changed probably um, a little bit of confidence slipped as well like when you before when you're winning games sometimes it just flows you know and, and, and then when you have two or three defeats you, you start to think about things and maybe not doing playing so free like you, you usually do and then um, yeah it just happens and obviously we had um, some not great performance as well, where we had to look at ourselves and, and, and say like that's not um, our standards. Obviously, um, we have to high, expect- high expectation from ourselves. And obviously, when when we are ourselves to 100%, I think we we are um, we can beat any team. But if not, then it's, for us it's very difficult. So um, this was happening in, over the last few weeks, I would say, and now. Um, yeah, we have to forget the past and just look look forward. Looking on the bright side, I suppose, Eddie's talked a lot about, you know, it's great that you, you're you getting weeks on the training ground now, whereas before it was three match days a week, you weren't getting much time on the training ground. How much of an impact, how much of a difference does that make to a player, having more time on the training ground ahead of a big match day like Man City? Yeah, I mean, when you see um, our last two years, this is what, what made us coming Champions League, you know, the, the, the training session and, and the work we do, we're doing on the training pitch. So I think special for, for our team, for like some basic things is, is very important. And obviously over the last months we had a new experience with a lot of games and, and no training session. And, and maybe then some basic things kind of slip a bit, a bit apart. And, and obviously we have to train them regularly to, to just be like normal for us and, and, and the things what make made us strong. So I think um, it's good to, to be able to, to have them session now back. Speaking of Eddie, there, there was, you know, especially around December time, there was talk of, of pressure on him. Is that laughable considering what he's achieved at this club in such a short space of time? Yeah, 100%. And obviously also when you see um, the team, obviously, I think nobody would understand any any question about it because we see what what's happening in the dressing room, what's happening on the training pitch, how how we are prepared going into a game, and obviously that's all down to him. So um, I didn't I didn't read that or heard it, but um, yeah, that's nothing I would even consider thinking about because he made us going that way and and be able to be in the position we've been in the last two years. So um, yeah. 
It's 650th game as a manager tomorrow night against Manchester City. What sort of milestone is that? Because it, it's it's easy to forget. He's only 46 years old. Yeah, that's. I didn't. I, I heard this uh, number from the first time. So um, it's a high number for a quite young manager, I would say. So just shows his his ability as as a manager, and obviously he has um, plenty of years. Um, you need to, to be a manager on, on this level, so it's going to be a lot of games as a, as a Premier League manager. Just rounding things off by looking ahead to City, I think it's one win in the last 32 attempts for Newcastle. Are they, are they the toughest test at the moment in world football to play Manchester City with the momentum behind them that they have? Yeah, always, always the toughest, toughest game, I would say. I'm probably the best team, like we said, in the world overall. Um, doing this for years and years and years and, and they are just so consistent and the quality they have is, is, is so good, you know, so we know how difficult um, every game against them is, so we need to be over our best level to, to be able to compete, but um, yeah, we play home and obviously we want to go back to the winnings, winning ways, so um, we have to play our game and focus on ourselves. Yeah, it's at St. James's Park. I mean, how big a leveller are a crowd at St. James's Park under the lights against Manchester City tomorrow night, do you think? Yes, always our 12th man, I would say. So every home game, I think, um, we perform on a, on a, or try to perform on the best level and they just give give us a lot of energy. Um, we beat them a lot of the top teams at home uh, because as well of their energy and like what they give give us uh, as the players and obviously this is what we need tomorrow and um, I'm looking forward for that. And just finally, completely unrelated, I know a lot of fans want to know this, but will there be another Fabian Scher appearance in a big Dan Byrne quiz anytime soon? Well, you know what, when you say this, so p people are laughing about my answer about the, the reindeer, but... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I got a lot of messages and people sending me actually photos from their Christmas trees with the reindeer on. So I thought my answer wasn't too bad. So um, I, I told it then as well. So I think next time you should be considering uh, more like more answers like yeah. A bit more research into his answers. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah needed.